In this video, I'll show you how to format text in Facebook groups without having to copy and paste from any other weird websites. And it's such an incredible way to get people to read your posts and catch their eyes as they're scrolling through the feed. So let's look at how to do it, okay? Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners streamline their social media strategy so they can generate more revenue with less work. If that sounds like something you want in your business, take a second, hit subscribe right now, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. Also, if you'd like help creating a streamlined social media strategy for your business, I've got a masterclass that helps entrepreneurs and business owners get started doing that. And I'll tell you how you can access it completely for free at the end of this video. My name is Jerry Potter, and today we're walking through how to format text in Facebook groups. Now, the good news is it's super easy to do. The bad news is you can't do it on the Facebook app, like on your smartphone or on a tablet. You can only do it on a computer in a web browser. But just know that people who are viewing your post on a smartphone or a tablet will still be able to see your formatting. So that only applies to the creation side of it. So I'm here in my private Facebook group for my 5-Minute Social Academy members, but you can do this in any group. It doesn't have to be your group in order to do this. So I'm going to go to the posting box and click there. And then I just start typing something. Now once that I've got some of the text there, I can highlight it. And then you should see this little thing pop up above it. So if I want it to be bold, I can click bold italic. Those are two of the options there. Then you have your different sizes. So you have header one and header two. So header one or H1 basically looks uh, big, essentially. You can also do big and bold. So you can combine these. H2 is all caps and is a lighter gray. So I kind of like having that if I want to add a note about something in between stuff. Um, if you want to use the quote, you do that, and it basically indents it a little bit here and adds a little line here on the end. So if you were quoting somebody. And then you also have bullet points or an ordered list with numbers. So that's all you have to do. But let me show you a couple of other things here that I find to be very, very helpful. So first thing is if you write your text and then you come down below and then you start writing more text, Sometimes what I'll see happen is I want to have this one change format, but then it'll actually change the next one as well. So what I like to do first is write out everything that I want to be there. So let's just keep this quick. Step one, two, step three, special note goes here. We'll just call it that. So then I would start at the top and I would, I would, that would be my headline. So I'd want it to be H1. I'd want to make it bold. And then steps one, two, and three, I would probably just leave as is. Um, I suppose you could make those bold if you want. And then this one down here, I might want to be H2. Now, another shortcut that I'll show you if on, this should be true on both Mac and Windows. If you're just trying to do bold or italic, you can hit bold just by doing Command B on a Mac usually or Control B on a PC. So I can do that without actually having to select it there, but I'll show you another one. What they don't have here, but you can still use, is if you do Command U or Control U, so Command U on a Mac or Control U on a PC, you can underline stuff. So you'll notice nowhere in these options do they have underline. So that's sort of an, uh, I guess it's on the secret menu. So again, you can do Command U on a Mac or Control U on a PC, and then you should be able to also underline to add your formatting to your posts in the group. Then when you have the post all ready to go, of course, you just hit Post or click the calendar button over here to pre-schedule your post, and the formatting should stay up. One more thing that's really important to know. If you come back and try and edit this post later, it often loses the formatting. Now, I. Assume this is just some sort of bug. It doesn't happen all the time. But unlike some posts, if I'm in a group and I'm trying to have lots of formatting, because I've written long posts sometimes because they can still look nice with this formatting, I will really double check to make sure everything is exactly the way I want it because I don't want to have to come back and fix it later or have it not work at all when I go come back to edit the actual post. So keep that in mind. Really do your best to get it right the first time. All right, as I promised you, I'd get you free access to my masterclass if you want to fully leverage social media to generate more revenue with less 
posting and hashtag all the things, then you definitely want to come check this out. It's called Three Secrets to a Streamlined Social Media Strategy, and it was so popular the first time we offered it that we are now offering it again for others as well. So you're gonna learn these three secrets. Secret number one, why the things you see others doing on social media aren't working for you and how to fix that. Stacy, who lives in California, said she felt like she'd wasted six years doing the wrong things before learning this. Secret number two, why it doesn't matter when you post and the question you should be asking instead. Michelle Taylor in Australia answered this for her business and had one free Facebook post lead to $17,000 in revenue. And secret number three, the key to social media success that actually has nothing to do with social media. Tom Love applied this and got his first client from Facebook 30 minutes after putting up his business page. It's free to watch, but registration is required. So right now, go to 5minutesocialmedia.com slash streamline. I've also included that link in the description of this video. 5minutesocialmedia.com slash streamline.